Getting the wheels up, but and the power seems to be getting better every time I run it.
set. Yeah, it goes good, right? A speedometer on it. Something's wrong. I think I just broke the pin again in the axle. That was the last of the gas. Yep, that was the last of the gas. I was wondering why she was running like that. I'm like, what the hell is going on? What's up guys? So I had the Baja out this, um, this past weekend and it was my second attempt at getting it running right. Last, uh, last weekend I took it out and I noticed it idling real high like 10 minutes into the run. Then I couldn't get it started. When I did get it started it just it ran terrible um, like it had an air leak. And so 
I switched out the cob. I looked for an air leak in the field. I put the 1107 back on it and still the same. I could only get it to, um, to ignite, you know, to, to turn over with the choke on. As soon as I turned the choke off, tried to pull it, couldn't get it started again. But it was really hot at that point, and I could tell the 990 heated up quite a bit because it was um, it was uh, heat soaked. The primer bulb wouldn't stay full, and what fuel that was in there was just bubbling. So the mess that was accumulating on the back of my engine, look at this, and I, most of it's scraped away with a screwdriver so I could see when it was still in the truck how the gasket looked assuming maybe I had a leak in one of the crankcase gaskets sure enough I pulled it apart look at that I could almost see the crank there's no gasket there at all no gasket yesterday when I took it out the only way I could get it to run was with the low side needle all the way out to the point where it was no longer engaged it was it was falling out um, Aside from that, it was idling so high that it was take it was taken off. You know, it was running on its own. So that was the only way I could get it to, you know, to just stay in one one spot. But yeah, that's a pretty bad leak. And if my memory serves me correct, I was talking to another YouTuber who now makes custom pots, um, who had an SCZ at one point, and he told me that I should stock up on crankcase gaskets. So I don't know what the deal is with these, whether or not it's an issue in the design or the gaskets themselves, but I mean, this engine's got barely any use on it. You guys know that, so that's pretty disappointing. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. One of the things I did get to see was the discoloration in that FS clutch. I don't know if you can see it in the sunlight, maybe, but it's purple and blue and all kinds of pretty colors. The heat did a number on it. The Vertigo Easy Access Carrier only allows venting right there from the bottom, and um, and I'm running the uh, the fan adapter that RB Innovation clone one. You can see it behind there. But aside from that, the spring looks good, and you know I guess it's just normal for that FS clutch, especially with the kind of heat that uh, you know that it throws. The piston looks clean. The rings look great. The inner cylinder wall looked good. Like I said, the engine's relatively new, so it's pretty disappointing. And the nightmare that comes along with removing an engine out of a Baja is right here. Look at this. Sorry about the shaking. It's terrible. I thought initially maybe it's from the diff. I guess that was kind of wishful thinking, but look at that. That's all from the engine. So if you're experiencing problems like I was, there's a chance you may have a an actual crankcase leak or a head leak you know you get the gaskets there and, and on the head as well so keep that in mind guys if you're ever having trouble